So what we were able to do with Smart Lens is have real-time visibility to your inventory, to your staff, to the people that are your customers in the store, as well as to the assets within the store itself. And how we do that is with, by combining multiple sensor technologies together to have that real-time accuracy. So we have our smart sensors, such as our snap unit up here in the ceiling. These are RFID, Wi-Fi, video, and micro-locationing. And we use micro-locationing to track our devices. So we use the microphone on the device, and that allows us to um, locate the devices within about a meter. The video and the RFID, we combine together to have that very accurate real-time visibility into the system. And then we have the Wi-Fi as a backhaul for that information as well. So we combine all this data together in our analytics engine, and that's where a lot of that magic occurs so that we're able to have that real-time locationing 24-7. And we not only tell you where an item is at or, or where its location is in the store, not just at a region level, we give you an XY coordinate, but we're also able to tell you the state of the item. For example, is it sellable? Is it not sellable? We can then generate insights at our business analytics layer that not only tell you that this item is here or these items are here, but we can say that this item needs to be replenished from the back to the front or that this item is out of stock or that these items are overstocked. So let me talk a little bit about how we deploy Smart Lens. We deploy Smart Lens, um, typically we deploy our sensors in a 40-foot grid. So each one of these snap units gets about uh, 1,600 feet of square coverage or 150 square meters. We also use our transition sensors that are exits and entrances, and these allow us to have visibility as items are coming into the store or transitioning from a back to the front with very good accuracy. We have our backroom sensors that give us visibility in the back room as well. And then we have our POS sensors that give us the ability to know when items are being uh, taken through the POS um, system as well. So combining all of that data together, we give you that visibility to the location and the state of the items. And then we are also able to give you those insights as well that drive our applications or your applications for things like replenishment. So we can dynamically send those alerts to the user when, they're, uh, when they occur. We don't have to wait for a batch process or a nightly scan or a weekly scan. We can also look up items in real time so we can find that last pair of jeans that somebody actually left in the fitting room or put in the women's section that should have been in the men's section so we can sell that last item on the shelf. We can give you insights into the behavior while the, the behavior is happening. So for example, let's say we have a Dyson vacuum cleaner as my highest shrink item. As soon as someone takes that item and starts to move with it, I can generate an alert. And the alert not only tells me where the person is and where they're moving, but I have historical information and I can monitor that in real time so that I can see who has the item, where they're at in the store, and I can make some decisions based upon that to determine do I intervene and prevent the theft or is it something that's just a naturally occurring, um, you know, a mom has it in her cart, she's got three kids and she put a whole bunch of other groceries and she's going to the POS. So you have that opportunity to prevent the theft instead of just tracking it. We do also provide forensic information so that you can analyze the, the POS events that are occurring and you can have insights into those behavior to understand that theft is occurring because someone is taking something to a particular area of the store or, or other types of behaviors that you can gain from that information.